crafty friends it's scrap nuts welcome back to my channel today I'm coming on to show you um, a couple of the the dies from scrap diva designs .com. you can see the link in that below I have been I have the honor of being a guest design team member again for the summer release so I'm pretty excited about that because you know summer is one of those uh, themes that I never I have a ton and ton of buckets and bins full of summer stuff but it's it tends to be one of the um, what do you one of the themes that I just never get to craft for because summers are so busy but my kids are grown so it should be better so what I'm going to show you quick at how I made these uh, this particular project is with the Scrap Diva Designs Essential Bundle. It is bundle number one, and it comes with four different nesting sets. Um, the circles, the two large circles, there is ten dies in, in these particular ones. This one is my favorite, and the circles I love anything with stitching. Now this one, I'm getting all the beach vibes and maybe western vibes because the stitching in this, the it's like an embossed stitching, but it looks kind of wavy and or ropey to me. So stay tuned. I really, I have farm and friends. I really need to... And I have tons of farm stuff. I need to, to make a farm project, so stay tuned for that. Now, on this particular one, being my favorite, you'll probably see me use this a lot. And I mean a lot. Because not only is it, you know, you think of it as a nesting frame of circles for making cards or what have you, but I also see watermelons. I see, uh, I actually even see a swimming pool in this too, but I guess I would use the other die for that. Um, so you can layer things up. But the other thing that I see is a book. And I love to make the little brag books, the little chipboard books. And these I've been making out of the 140 pound um, paper. Um, it's usually in the sketch book area. I get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, because it, it makes good backing, whether it's for making words. Like, like you know, this has been layered up. To it, so it's really sturdy. But, and then I also made a pocket. So I will show you, I will talk a little more about that in a second. Let me finish showing you. It also comes with the two oval sets matching the same stitching. So you can do the um, single stitch and or the rope, but in the ovals. And these have seven. There's seven in each one. So, but this um, would make, I was going to make a wedding card out of this. So I'll have to show you that again later. So that is Essentials Bundle 1 from her store. You can find that. And this is how I create, what I created with, with the circle. And what you need to do then is, um, if you want to make a pocket like I did here and also here, you would just cut out an extra circle and then you would cut it in half like so. So now you have two and you want to know something super, super cool about this is she also came out then with a new set and it is called the pocket in line detail bundle and you get six little pocket slits and or openings. You can do just a single slit or you can do a whole opening and I'll show you a little example of that. Then you get seven decorative edges and we'll sh I'll show you those quick. That one is the, the diamonds. It's got like cuts out the diamond shape. This one has the double stitch shape. You got the squiggles and kind of like a teardrop or oval shape. You have the hearts that cut out. You have the single stitch, which is my favorite, and I'll show you what I did with that. And then you have the, the little mix of the, the larger sh and the, the short stitch. So there's probably a technical name for that. Not sure what it is. Then So you get seven of those, but you get six of the, of the little pocket slits. So these ones actual make, actually make openings. I'm missing one. And they range from, I think, what, two and a half inches for the short slit. Oh my goodness, I cannot pick up this ruler. It's stuck. So that one is about not not quite two and a half. And then the long one, the longest one is a five inch opening. So that's those. But then they she also has the single stitch, or I'm sorry, single slit, where it just makes the slit and and it doesn't have like show an actual opening. And what I did to show you, so I took and I cut 
one of the little pockets here, whoops, just stuck it in there, ran it through the die cut machine and created that hole. And what you would do then, so, so if you wanted a pocket and you wanted things to hang out, like let's borrow these tickets here, that little slit will allow you to have an impromptu little slit somewhere. It doesn't have to just be in a pocket. It could be on anything, but I chose it on the front of this pocket. Now, how did I do this? So you, when you cut your circles in half, cause you want to create a pocket, you would just cut the large circle, cut it twice. When you take one of them and you slice it in half, but then it doesn't have the finished edge. Well, that's where her edgings come in. So then you would just lay this across here like this and or even the blue one. Now I've never tried to do them both at the same time, but I bet you could if you want, if you really wanted to. And then this is how I got this edging here by doing that. And it kind of finishes it off. So I just absolutely love this. Now, this is also Erica's double loop bow, which you've seen me use that several times. I just doubled it up. So I used the medium sized bow, but I used an extra layer by using the small bow, but it all comes together in, in, the, in the bench. So this is doodle bug paper. This die, I'm sorry, is no longer available. I'm pretty sure my B is from the DIY store on AliExpress. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then if you also, you got to see this particular bumblebee. Now this one is still available on Allie in the RJ Live store, I believe. That's his die. And then this again is the same bee from the DIY store. So, so there's that. And then here's the pocket. Isn't it just adorable? And then I put this little charm of the honey, little honeycomb on the side. A little bit of honeycomb. We'll put our little tags back in. These are also tags from Erica's store, but they just look so cute in there. And you could add, you could do this as a birthday gift, or you know have a gift card in behind it, or just little treasures, little embellishments if you wanted to package it up cute that way. My little beehive uh, buttons are from Button Galore, and then this is super cute. So. I love, love, love mixing my way. I use her mixes a lot. This is her honey mix, and um, we were. I've been talking to her a lot. Uh, she working with me, like if what I have a mix because I love using her mixes to start. They're full of crystals and sequins, and then what I do is whatever my project is, I just add what a color I need to it. So with her bee high or her bumblebee. Um, being, or I had some blue in there. I wanted blue in there. So even though her mixes come, you know, like a set, I just add whatever I need to, to bring it all together. So I added blue seed beads and blue, pale blue flowers, which they almost look white in there because that's how light they were. So, but anyway, isn't that super, super cute? And I layered these up, the little bees and yeah, these were a little pain. It took me forever to make a, about six of them. So so, so, so super cute. All right, guys, if you have any more questions, just leave a little comment below. I will get back to you. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I know sometimes it's super hard. Um, oh, you, yeah, I think I did show you. Never mind. I showed you. I showed you. I'm losing it over here. All right, to the next video, guys. Thanks for stopping by.